Hello friends, today we'll be discussing about the chromosomes and also in this lesson I'll be clearing your doubts related to certain terminologies like chromosomes, chromatids, genome, base pairs, what is gene, okay? Uh, because uh, I have found that most of the students are very confused about these terminologies whenever they read in something in the, new, in the textbooks they get confused with somewhere it is written genome, somewhere it is written chromosome, somewhere it is written base pair, somewhere it is written DNA. So why all these terminologies are being used at different places at different times? So first we need to understand what is the differences between them, need to clear our basic doubts and then we should, uh, it will be more easy for you guys to understand the whole process then. Okay, so it will be easy for you then to read anything by your own and it will be easy for you to visualize the things that what it is talking about. So this is a very important topic. Please stay tuned and keep watching. This is Monica Sharma. I have done MSc in Biotechnology and MBA in Healthcare Management and also I have done PGDM in Regulatory Affairs. I worked in a biopharma company that is Reliance Life Sciences, Navi Mumbai uh, for four years as a research scientist. This is all about myself and if you like my videos and if you are liking it, please hit the follow button so that whenever I'll be posting the new videos, it will be notified to you in your notification box and uh, please upload for me and share my videos more for spreading the knowledge. So let's start the topic. So what is chromosome? Chromosome is basically made up of the two words, the chroma and soma. Okay, so what is this chroma and soma means? The chroma means the color. Okay, and soma means the body. So why they have been given this name, chromosomes? The color body, why they have been given color body name? Because they have found that when they are staining them, uh, they are taking up, these chromosomes are taking up a very strong dyes. Some of the dyes they are taking up very strongly. That is, they are being stained very strongly. So, that's why they have been given this name, chromosome, the color body, which is present in the cell. Okay. Now, these chromosomes are only visible during the metaphase stage of the cell division and that too only by the light microscope. Okay, they are only visible, this is an important point to remember, uh, they will be visible only during the metaphase stage of the cell division. Why? Because chromosome is actually, they are actually a DNA packed to a thread like structure. They are a thread like structures, okay, in which the DNA is packed, tightly packed, strongly packed, just like a thread. If you have seen that uh, the normal thread in your house, okay, if you'll just condense them or if you just keep them like together, okay, what it will look like? It will be a condensed form that will be more visible to you than a single long thread, right? So these are also here also, the DNA are tightly packed, super coil packed. So that it will be visible when you are staining them with the certain dyes. Okay. So this is what the chromosome is. So during the metaphase stage, you see a chromosome in the X shaped. As see, you can see here in this picture, this form of the, this shape of the chromosome will be visible during the metaphase stage. Why this is being visible X shaped? Because Prior to the metaphase stage, in the S phase of the cell division, that is, S phase is what? The replication phase. Where the one copy of the one single chromosome is getting, is forming its own copy. Okay? So, after the replication, there will be a one original Let's suppose this is the original one and this is a newly formed copy. So there will be a two 
chromosomes or you can say now they will be called as chromatids the two sister chromatids are linked with each other are joined at with each other at the one center position which is called as a centromere now this centromere is not necessary that it will be present at somewhere at the center it can be present at the ends of the chromosome it is only a joining point okay if these two chromosomes are joined together at the ends then also there also the joining point is the centromere position okay so depending on where the centromere is present the chromosomes have different shapes they have different arms like if it is present at the center there will be four arms 1 2 3 4 correct if they are present at the ends these two chromosomes let's suppose are join at the ends there will only be visible two arms correct two arms will be visible if you can see like this only two arms so this is about the centromere part now the shorter arm of this chromosome is called as a p arm or you can say a chromatid is called a p arm and the longer one longer arm is called as a q arm okay now in these chromosomes as i'm saying these are the tightly packed thread like structures so what are tightly packed dna dna is tightly packed in this okay so this is the whole structure of the chromosome which we see during the metaphase stage of the cell division now let's see in details this is a cell and in the cell when we see in the light microscope this we what we see in the nucleus there are different egg shaped bodies are present what are these egg shaped bodies let's zoom them up these are nothing but the chromosomes right now what is inside these chromosomes let's zoom them again when you will see that these are some thread like structures which are super coiled around certain proteins what are these proteins histones they are coiled around the histone proteins packed around the histone proteins in a coiling fashion they are super coiled mega coiled okay now this dna what is these thread like structure which are coiled these are nothing but the dna now dna is if you zoom it it is actually a double helix right this is the structure of the dna now this dna has a certain stretch of region which are called as the genes there are many genes in this genes is nothing but a stretch of region in the dna which is coding for a certain functional molecule or the proteins right so this is gene now what is the gene is made up of if we we'll go deeper into the structure you'll find that the genes are made up of nothing but the nitrogenous bases okay these are the sequence of nitrogenous bases which are actually coding for a protein so the stretch of nitrogenous bases is what a gene there are many genes in the dna which make up the whole so many genes together are called as the whole stretch of dna dna is packed around the histone proteins and they are super coiled inside the chromosome and this is how they are packed in the cell now why i'm saying this why the structure is they are super coiled why the dna is super coiled this question can can arise in your mind why these are super coiled inside this so the answer for this is as you know in our cell there are some 2 meters of dna one cell contains some 2 meters of dna right dna is made up of what dna is a polymer of nucleotide or you can say it is made up of nitrogenous bases right atcg adenine thymine guanine cytosine atgc there are many atc gc these letters are present in our dna okay so there are some billions of letters are present billions of atc g are present in different sequence form that make up the dna 
So what we are saying is, if a one cell of a body contains a two meter of DNA, one cell contains two meter of DNA. Now in our body we have some trillions of cells, right? We have trillions of cells in our body. So that means if one cell is having a two meter of DNA, the trillions of cells will be having how many meters of DNA? Just think about it. It is so big. The distance can be measured in such a way that if it can be, if you are going to stretch a DNA, it will start from here on the earth, on the ground, and till the moon it will be. That long it will be. Can you imagine that? It's such a long DNA is there in our body. Now how it is going to pack such a long stretch of DNA, how it is packed in a small cell in our body. How is it possible? That's what we are saying. These are actually super coiled or mega coiled, super mega coiled into the chromosomes and that's how they are packed in our cell. So, this is the basic idea, okay? I hope you must have visualized it and make it clear that in our cell, in each of our cell, have a very long stretch of DNA which is actually present in a very super coiled form. Now you can imagine that if it is a long DNA which is present from earth, ground till moon, that is the length of the DNA which is present in a body. So just imagine if it has to occupy in a small cell, how it is going to pack. It is going to pack in a very coiled fashion. In a super, 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 super mega coiled fashion. Right? So, this is the whole difference. So, chromosomes are basically made up of DNA only. Right? The DNA which is mega coiled around the histone proteins making up the chromosomes. Now, what is genome? We have talked about during the uh, when we were discussing about the topic of this lesson we have talked about the genome also correct and what is this genome so the total genetic material of our human let's suppose we are talking about the humans we are talking about ourselves only because we are selfish we want to know about ourselves first right so let's talk about us the total genetic material of a human body which is containing what? Which is containing the total DNA or you can say a chromosomes like we know that we have a 23 pairs of chromosomes are present. Right? In humans, 23 pairs of chromosomes are present. 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair is of sex chromosomes. Correct? Two sex chromosomes are present. So, that makes up the 46 chromosomes are present. Now, the DNA which is present in this 46 chromosomes plus the DNA which is present in the mitochondria, this total genetic material of the human body is known as the genome. Correct? So, genome is nothing but the total genetic material of the organism. So, this is the whole idea about the different terminology. So I hope I have made the things clear to you and uh, all the doubts are clear now. So it will be easy for you to now understand the different textbooks or whatever you will be watching regarding the biology or biotechnology subjects. If you have still have any doubts related to any other terminology, please let me know. I will surely help you out in solving it. So keep watching my videos. Thanks for now. Bye.